I have fallen in love with the sound. That was Scary Pockets doing a cover of Hit the Road Jack using a Juno 60 synth. Let's see if we can recreate it. I'm starting here with a blank VCV project that I've set up to connect to my audio devices. But before we get stuck into that, let's actually do a bit of research. We'll jump over to Wikipedia here and learn a little bit more about this Juno 60 that we're trying to recreate. So, uh, came out in the 80s, that's good for us, couldn't fit that many electronics in a synth back then. Alright, six voice polyphonic synthesizer, that's cool. Uh, we've got some DCOs, sawtooth and square pulse waveforms, DCOs, digital controlled oscillator, but we'll just use VCOs. Uh, white noise, sub square wave sub oscillator, pitch one octave below, that's good, we know we'll be able to do that. Uh, we've got a low pass filter with resonance, and we've got a high pass, I think, a yep, a high pass filter too. A uh, single triangle wave LFO, okay, we can add that. We can route it in various places. And then VCA, ADSR envelope, easy. And then onboard chorus effect, which is going to be pretty important because that's a pretty key part of the sound from what I've read. Let's start with our oscillators. So I'm going to be sticking to the fundamental built-in oscillators as much as we can. Uh, so we'll run them through some mutes and a mixer. Mixer like so. So the first one is going to be our square wave in. Uh, the second one's going to be our sawtooth wave. And then the third one is going to be our sub oscillator. So we'll be dropping it down an octave and pulling a square wave out of that. Uh, in one, in two, in three. Uh, and then we can wire up the Vioct here, like so. Uh, now if we plug that straight into our mix, I think it's going to be pretty horrible, because... Oof, very spicy. Yeah, because uh, all the polyphonic channels are all just blasting sound at the moment. So we're going to need an envelope. Wire that up to a gate and retrig. Uh, and now we'll have that power a VCA. So that goes there, and the mixer goes to the VCA. And then, hopefully, all right. Step one: we have a polyphonic synthesizer. Next, we're going to add in some effects. So we'll start with our filters. We'll take a high pass and a low pass. Um, we'll actually put this before the amplifier. So we want to go the high pass and then the low pass, like that. And now we'll open them right up, like that, and it should sound the same. That up an octave. That's our low pass. That's our high pass. That sounds like that filtering is working. And then we also want some chorus. Now there's no built-in effect for this, um, and I didn't end up figuring out how to rebuild it with delays, although I probably could. But uh, this chorus one comes from Autodafe. It's a free, free module that we can use. Problem is it's not a polyphonic, uh, it's not a polyphonic module. So what we'll have to do before we use it is sum together our polyphonic channels like that. Then take the output, like so. Now, okay, so that's a chorus effect. Uh, we can play around those knobs later, but at least it's wired up. And also because we want to be able to switch the chorus effect on and off, let's actually use a bypass. So once again, this is not a built-in. This is from Vault VULT modules. Uh, the output goes there, and we send and return like that. So now, it's off, it's on, it's off, it's on. So that lets us play around with the chorus. So that's it for our effects. Now let's get our LFO and noise happening. So for our LFO, uh, we'll use this. So we wanted a triangle wave, and we'll run that uh, and it needs to be able to control a couple of different things. If I remember correctly, 
One of them was... One of them was the pulse, pulse width modulation. So we can run this to that. Uh, we also want to be able to control the frequency modulation. So for a vibrato effect like that. And then we also want to be able to control the filter, the low pass filter. So probably like so. Uh, and I'll just mute all them for now. Uh, so that's our LFO. And then for our noise, we have to once again reach outside of the fundamentals. Let's go with this bog audio one. Uh, we have some white noise here. Now it's it's not polyphonic, so we're going to need a merge. Yeah, that'll do it. So the white noise, we pretty much will just feed into all these channels. Four, five, six, and then take the output, run it through here, run that into our mixer, and then, yeah, you can hear a lot of noise. It's that white noise. All right, so now we've got all the parts, uh, now we can start trying to actually get the sound we want. So let's take another quick listen to the sound. This sounds like a pretty clean sound to me, so let's start with maybe taking the saw wave out. Uh, and then from there, also just dropping out some of the sub oscillator. That's up. That sounds a little bit closer. Now the chorus isn't quite right, so we have two knobs here, depth. Starts wobbling a little bit, and then rate. That's not what we want, so I think we want a low rate, high depth. You can hear the difference there with it on and off. Uh, that sounds okay. Now, uh, the resonance of the frequency of the filter. Put a bit of that in. Uh, let's bring a little cheeky bit of the noise in. Maybe there isn't any noise actually. We'll put a little bit, just a little bit there. You can sort of just hear it now. Yeah, just a cheeky little bit. Um, that's getting pretty close, I think. We'll uh, drop the attack down a little bit, the release to, to cover it. Um, yeah, that might be what we want. Let's give it a go and see what it sounds like. Sounds pretty close. The best part is we now have an emulated Juno 60 we can use to play around with. Give it a go and post what you come up with down in the comments below.